Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss types of cargo distribution on bulk carrier. The more commonly adopted cargo distributions are 1. Homogeneous hold loading conditions, fully loaded. A homogeneous hold loading condition refers to the carriage of cargo, evenly distributed in all cargo holds. This loading distribution, in general, is permitted for all bulk carriers and is usually adopted for the carriage of low-density cargoes, such as coal and grain. However high-density cargoes such as iron or may be carried homogeneously. 2. Alternate hold loading conditions, fully loaded. Heavy cargo, such as iron ore, is often carried in alternate cargo holds on bulk carriers. It is common for large bulk carriers to stow high-density cargo in odd-numbered holds with the remaining holds empty. This type of cargo distribution will raise the ship's center of gravity, which eases the ship's rolling motion. When high-density cargo is stowed in alternate holds, the weight of cargo carried in each hold is approximately double that carried in a homogeneous load distribution. To support the loading of the heavy cargo in the holds, the local structure needs to be specially designed and reinforced. It is important to note that the holds which remain empty, with this type of cargo distribution, have not been reinforced for the carriage of heavy cargoes with a non-homogeneous distribution. Ships not approved for the carriage of heavy cargoes in alternate holds by their classification society must not adopt this cargo load distribution. 3. Block hold loading and part loaded conditions. A block hold loading condition refers to the stowage of cargo in a block of two or more adjoining cargo holds with one empty hold. In many cases, block hold loading is adopted when the ship is partly loaded. Part loaded and block hold loading conditions are not usually described in the ship's loading manual unless they are specially requested to be considered in the design of the ship. When adopting a part loaded condition, to avoid overstressing of the hull structure. Careful consideration needs to be given to the amount of cargo carried in each cargo hold and the anticipated sailing draft.